wall drop windmill. In the wall drop windmill position, in the wall drop position, the slant board is against the wall. Uh, it's at an angle that's comfortable for her. Her heels are touching the wall and her feet are hip width apart. In this uh, position, her body's resting against the wall comfortably. And this is reestablishing the vertical load line and putting her load joints on top of each other. Her ear is over her shoulder, over her hip, over her knee, and over her ankle. Uh, this is putting a little bit more demand on the ankle, the knee, and the hip why a little bit of a calf stretch is happening in the hamstring and um, lengthening the posterior fascial line. It's putting a little bit of lumbar extension and a little bit of thoracic extension into the spine. And so what we're gonna do at this point is she's gonna bring her arms up where her hands are level with her shoulder. Everybody stays against the wall, the back of the hand and the elbow. And um, she's gonna hinge from her thoracic spine. It's very important here to not let the hips rotate or slide against the wall back and forth at all. So all the movement is coming from the thoracic spine. So we're getting lateral flexion of the trunk. Her head is just following the spine and her arms are just following. So the arms aren't moving independently from that movement and her head's not moving independently from that movement. And so the hips really tight against the wall, not shifting at all, not rotating. And you're gonna move nice and slow, back and forth. Only go as far as you can without those hips moving. If your hip starts to move, then you need to back off and not try to push it as much and then slowly, gradually increase the range of motion. So again, lots of lateral trunk flexion happening in the spine, really opening up the little multifidi and rotators of the spine and the, the, um, the vertical, opening up the vertical load line a little bit. And that was way too